Through Anna's eyes, her mom is the most beautiful woman in the world. By five years old, she takes a mental note of everything her mom does because she is her hero. Sometimes her house smells awful because all her mom will eat is cabbage soup. Other times she drinks shakes that taste to Anna like a glass full of chalk instead of sitting down with the family for dinner. On Anna's birthday, she doesn't understand why her mom will eat a piece of her princess birthday cake, only to find her alone in the pantry eating big chunks of cake with her hands. She spends years listening and watching her mom shame her body and destroy her self-worth. She doesn't understand because to Anna, her mom is perfect. At age 15, Anna wants to be perfect too. So she starts skipping meals and taking diet pills, but the only thing that changes is her mood. She becomes impossible to be around. She hates herself because she feels so fat, and just like her mom, her self-worth continues to shrink. Anna's not alone. Nearly one in every two teenage girls and one in every four teenage boys have tried dieting to shrink their body. And nearly 40% of their parents encourage them to do so. Diet culture wants us to believe that we'd be happier, healthier, and more accepted if we had a smaller body. At age 35, Anna sees herself in the mirror and is disgusted by the way she looks. She suffers through episodes of low energy, brain fog, irritability, starvation, and fatigue. She yells at her kids and snaps at her husband. The more she tries to control her body, the more it fights back. The pressure to be thin has caused nearly 75% of American women to have negative thoughts, feelings, and behaviors as it relates to food or their bodies. We are dieting at the highest rates in history, but have absolutely nothing to show for it but terrible repercussions in the growth of an industry that's predestined to fail us. That's right. The diet industry has tripled its profits over the last 20 years and is worth over $72 billion. Men and women in this country are the biggest consumers of weight loss products in the world, yet we're still on the leaderboard for one of the unhealthiest. So what are we missing? I can tell you this. It's not another diet or health product. When Anna first came in for counseling, she sat hunched in a chair. Her body was hidden by a huge gray sweatshirt and giant black pants. Her first words to me, I want to walk right out that door. But she didn't. In fact, she stayed for years. Anna wasn't offered any quick fixes or fancy potions. No cookie-cutter diets, powders, or pills. She was made to feel like she belonged in the gym. She was taught to focus on her strong legs instead of her saddlebags. Instead of enabling her excuses, she took ownership of her goals. But the most important thing that happened was that someone listened to her. Slowly, she began to transform. Instead of going from diet to binge, she started making good choices. Her self-talk changed. Instead of pointing out her sagging upper arms, she talked about how powerful they were. She wore clothes she never imagined she would, and for the first time, she felt good about herself. Weight loss was never a realistic goal for Anna. Yeah, she took off 20 pounds, but it was the byproduct of her improved thoughts and actions. She stopped focusing so much on becoming a smaller version of herself and instead focused on becoming the best version of herself. I've met hundreds of people like Anna, each with a story of how the diet industry caused distress in their life. 
sometimes as early as five years old. Replacing your meals with a shake and cutting out food groups seems like an innocent move. But diets, whether short or long-term, are more destructive than you think. Setting off a cascade of biological effects that resist weight loss, like lowering your metabolism and naturally increasing your body's motivation to eat. Did you know that some of today's most popular diets here in America encourage calorie intakes comparable to those in the most undernourished countries in the world? It's no wonder we feel awful. Like Anna, I suffered with poor body image and restriction. I cut out some of my favorite foods, avoided social situations, and felt disconnected from my family and friends in pursuit of a body I still wasn't happy with. I knew there was a problem. I stood in front of the mirror and knew there was a problem at 8% body fat and still noticed every single one of my flaws. I walked out on stage as a professional bikini competitor, feeling insecure and full of self-doubt. I stood there as a panel of judges rated every single part of my body. There was an overwhelming feeling of shame when I saw my 10-month-old daughter in the audience. What message was I sending her? I wanted to be strong, confident, and happy. That's not what dieting or trying to shrink your body does. It actually detaches you from the things that are important in your life. It's okay to not love your body every day, but what's most important is realizing that you are more than just a body. You are someone's husband, wife. You are someone's mom and dad and friend. You are someone with dreams, goals, aspirations, and talents. The diet industry that profits off your self-doubt does not have the power to tell you what's desirable if you don't let them. Anna is no longer waiting for a Monday to start a new diet. She's no longer jumping from one eating program to the next, hoping for a different result. She's no longer eating to be thin. She's focusing on the foundational principles, as everyone should, such as eating more fruits and vegetables, drinking more water, exercising regularly, and appreciating her body for what it is. My favorite thing she said to me was, I don't want to wake up at 80 regretting how much life I wasted worrying about my thighs. Imagine if each of us woke up tomorrow and could see our value without a compliment or a mirror. Imagine if we could eat a piece of birthday cake without feeling like we were breaking a rule. Imagine if we could eat and exercise to become a more powerful version of ourselves instead of trying to shrink who we are. We'd destroy the diet industry before letting it destroy us. So here's something to keep in mind. Your diet and how much you weigh is the least interesting thing about you. You are more than just your body. Thank you.